right, everyone, welcome to debate number two. Today we have the contenders arguing the role of Unicode in PHP. Do we go the route of PHP 6, of deep integration with Unicode, as Derek Bevins will be arguing for, or do we focus on the Intel extension and concentrating on PHP doing what it does best and leaving string manipulation to the application, as will be argued by Elizabeth Smith. Woo! <laughs> Do you have a volunteer to go first? I will go first. Derek Brothers will go first. Right. One minute, Mr. Evans. I speak more than one language. I speak several languages. Many of them require... Show off. <laughs> Please no don't heckling. Interrupt. Yes. <laughs> you haven't had a beer yet. And too much coffee. So, very different languages use very many interesting constructs. Although PHP has functionality in the form of MBString or the Intel extension, they do not bring Unicode support to the language itself. Functions like strlen, uh, substring, word wrap will never be able to function with just UTF-8. UTF-8 characters are not real characters. They are either pre-combined, but there is things like in Indic languages to real characters combined together form a visible thing. And this is something you cannot do without having proper Unicode support in PHP. Pam! Pam! Are we done? Yes? Next? Go! Alright. The language of the internet is UTF-8. All right, yes, it takes different characters to go together, but at the end of the day, you're talking to a car star underneath you're talking to. Something that doesn't need to hold 32, 32 bytes of data just to be able to have a string. Let's not balloon PHP to the point where it can't run the way it can. If you need to do string length and graphemes, which is what you're talking about with Unicode, where you actually want the characters, we already have that functionality in Intel. If you are doing something in Unicode where you need to make sure you're counting the number of characters that matter to the user, why are you using string length in the first place? That's the number of bytes in the string. Goodness sakes, please use the right tools for the job. Let's not load the language, let's use the right tools, especially for people who don't need it in everything, because frankly, if you're writing an intranet application completely in English, I don't need all my bites eaten up for the people in Russia. Thank you. Amen. 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 Intranet applications are often not even written in one language anymore. Take, for example, the fair province of Quebec, where everything has to be in French, just as well as in English. <laughs> but the main point is that UTF-8 is good as a text uh, transfer mechanism, but it is not good for data processing. Uh, it is difficult to scan for. It is difficult to index specific individual characters in there, not only because there are different UTF-8 representations, but each UTF-8 UTF-8 representation of a character is not actually always a character. Now, data storage is indeed a bit of an issue because, of course, the more things you need to store, the larger it becomes. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that UTF-8 is good for everything because you cannot easily compare those things because you need to make sure that if characters are composited in different order, there's still a tradition with the same character. So if you can't compare strings that contain the same text, yeah, then what do you really do, right? You are, you are even thinking that the letter O is not really the letter O anymore, even though it is really the same thing. And depending on user inputs, people can enter it in any form they want. So this is something that UTF-8, as a, a character transfer mechanism, is not going to support ever, because it's not made for it. One minute to two finalists. All right. At the end of the day, though, the Intel extension will turn that into something that can be easily managed and dealt with as UTF-16 or UTF-32 underneath. So why put it in the core of the language if you already have the capabilities there if you need to use the Unicode? Why do it for everyone when only a smaller or even a larger subset need it? But the biggest thing is backwards compatibility, all right? We want to be able to be able to use all the other extensions that already are used to getting character data in one way. If we have to add everything to the core, it's going to take forever <coughs> and ever and ever and ever to get all the extensions going because half the people in the world, if you say Unicode, have no idea what you're talking about, unfortunately. All right. 
that brings us to the end of this debate. Can I finalize as well or not? You said one, oh, two, I did start. That is a good point. Yes. That is unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try. Uh, however, if your opponent would like to cede you uh, 30 seconds of the remaining time, she may. All right, so... Um, I said if. <laughs> <laughs> go right ahead. Now I lost my train of thought. 30 seconds, go. <laughs> 25. <laughs> so Intel is a great extension, but it's not PHP. Um, having to use external functionality to do things that real languages, like Python, <laughs> Only in Python 3! <laughs> um, I think this is something that PHP is lacking, not so much here, where most of the people will only do English for their applications. Uh, in India, this is definitely a problem. And considering India has a billion and 200 million people, it's quite a large area that you'll be neglecting. <laughs> All right, well, we've already, we have gone over in our time. So, uh, <coughs> by way of applause, who favors Derek's position of a PHP 6 style integration of Unicode? Did you say PHP 6? Yes. Were you yes. squaring here? <laughs> who favors Derek's uh, PHP 6 style of integration where we create specialized strings uh, for deep integration of Unicode into the language? Please show by applause. Come on, a bit more. <laughs> And who favors Elizabeth Smith's position of folks who have their women? Yeah. By the way, secret. I need to put some patches in it so everything works right. So, what are you waiting for? Um, <laughs> we have five minutes left. You want to try and use, uh, yes, you guys can.